Hi, good afternoon, good evening, um, fellow collectors and fellow fans and uh, audience, friends all over the world. Yeah, hi, this is Figure Talk episode 38, this time 38, 38. Uh, this is Brian No. Yeah, you cannot see my face this time. No, no, I, I show you my face, okay? So <laughs> my face. Because this is my job to show my face. You know, we are different. We are different. Oh, sorry, sorry. We are different. Um, because um, we are, you know, we are professional and we are specialists. So, so that's why I can show my face and we can give uh, more accurate and professional comments on different different products, especially figures 1 to 4 scale, 1 to 12 scale, 1 to 6 scales, etc, etc. Thank you very much for watching Figure Talk episode 38. This is Rhino. Uh, why I show my face like that? Because today uh, our, the store code is really busy with the new stuff just uh, just uh, landing Hong Kong and, and they are busy preparing and, and, and stocking the items. So that's why I hold my camera on myself. But this is good, you know. Uh, only the beginning and the end of the program will show my face uh, and just to say hello and, and nothing special uh, I'm not handsome man, but but um, I think I, I, I still need to uh, thanks thanks George uh, from Philippines yeah, yeah as I remember hi George and uh, to, to say hello and to show something different you know uh, figure talk or toys TV I think it's a, it's a unique uh, uh, online uh, social media for toys and collectibles so it's different yeah i'm whether just so we are not just showing the the toys and opening the box hi george uh not just this you know everyone can do it unbox items you know but we are different we we show we give uh, our comments uh, um we give our experience and we give our knowledge to all the audience okay so yeah i stopped to show my face go back to the yeah the main character tonight is damn toys uh them actually is a chinese you know, a mainland China company for figures, but they are really experienced and, and professional and you know, they give high quality products to, to the market. So, you know, I think there's no difference with some Hong Kong companies, you know, in a certain standard or certain area. Uh, this is their very famous uh, own designed original series. Gangster Kingdoms, you know, the designers is designers teams also from China and uh, This is really good series and designer series which um, Which they are original and they are really using Chinese designers Teams to make their own design so it is very happy to show that and it's very good to to let everyone knows about you know something from China uh, PLC or maybe we call so um uh, they provide good standard of designs. Okay, this is the John. Oh no, sorry, it is a hard two, hard two, for the you know like a like a you know a um a Pocus Pocus series. You know they consist of almost 50, 52 or fifty something you know characters from the whole series. I think they already released more, more than ten or fifteen of them. So this is uh uh the the newest release one uh, with the final products and this is hard to Benson uh, the major characteristic of this series is you could see a lot of uh, fruit paint or, or, or characteristic or some shadows of some movies TVs or classic characters uh, so what he looks like for this um, Benson I don't know uh, but um, it is very iconic or unique appearance for these characters. Uh, I am not sure about the story, but you guys can read about their story. Okay, so be careful. The finger is it's not the one, huh? So be careful. They, he is not showing some, you know, rude, rude finger gesture. Um, but you could see a lot of very funny interesting or special accessories of the of this figures and uh okay it's too much accessory so i i i focus on the the one on the on the ground first on the background first okay this one i think uh they are not making you know 
unscale or long scale change they intentionally make a very big change you know it is like a culture of uh, you know some maybe some people or some gangster they like to, they, they used to to have them with a very uh, big size change or, or golden change as their accessories and um, uh, okay okay go to the this fist hand uh, actually this fist weapons with diamonds not real diamonds right okay but uh, I think it's for the, for, for the fighting right for fist fighting it can be removed it can be removed I truly try to do it with one hand only okay okay I'm not playing magic but I use my another hand okay so this can be separate this can be separate yeah and there's a ring yeah I'm just playing with this loud one cell to show you this is final product okay I, I, I leave it okay and uh, this is the magazine of Desert Eagle of the Desert Eagle of the Desert the Desert Eagle and this is the magazine of uh, the machine gun this is Desert Eagle I have one myself not a real one but um, you know we have been making a, a Desert Eagle for my products before but this one is very well made and uh, you know some working mechanism removable magazines and uh, movable parts okay so we go to his boots or shoes it's a shoes yeah the painting is glossy and it's really good good made good painted it looks very glossy leather but actually this is a, a plastic one but I think they spend a lot of effort on the decoration of the boots so the boots look very cool and you know fit the characters and uh, pleated pants or trousers okay with a with a wow with a that stylistic um, belt the belt buckle and the belt and uh, You know, a magazine. I think this. Uh, sorry, the machine gun. This machine gun is. It looks like a World War Two U.S. by the but uh, used by the paratroopers. I'm not sure, but it looks really close to the the one I used to. Looks like a, a U.S. paratrooper ma machine gun. Okay. And uh, you know, a big chain, golden chain, race chain. Uh, you could see there's a lot of tattoos on on the on these hands, you know, on the hands. On these hands, on um, on his chest, you know. Enough. Oh, okay. You see some special effect. Okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, something dropped on the floor. Yeah, this one is dropped on the floor. It's the sunglasses. Sunglasses. Originally, originally on his head. Okay, I put it here. And uh, you know, tattoo on hand and on the abdomen, chest. You know, a very funny face with you know. He's loose. He lost some teeth. He looks very funny and interesting. And uh, he is wearing also some fur-like jacket. Okay. Very, very funny. Very funny, funny. costume and uh, one focal point is the chair you know a very big size chair uh, this is two-seater you may call two-seater not a single-seater because this is quite big 
It's made made of the vinyl plastic, so it's not heavy. It's not too heavy, but it has some weight. Not heavy, and you can see the tiger skin. The tiger skin it looks very cool, and you know, you know, right scale pattern and um, right size for a tiger. Yeah, the 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 pattern, the strips is not you know random. It's really they they made some plan and 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 some effort on the on the on this you know uh, one six scale tiger skin. Okay. Well painted chair. It looks really like a you know a leather one, but actually this is plastic. It's a plastic one. Okay. <laughs> some people can say it looks like a bobby yip. Um, a little bit look like every every character of this series. You know, I I think it's inspired by some you know iconic character from movie, TV, or some public figures. But I think it looks really cool. You know, have their own style, and you you won't forget the face and the image after you have a look on these items and products so i think they are very successful in designing different characters you know already close to 20 of them so i think that there is some difficulty when you're developing a series you know uh, the first design you, you can make anything you like and, and make it much beautiful as as you want but uh, number two number three number four and then uh, go ahead you will find some difficulty to to make any new designs or any new design which is much much better than the the beginning and the, and the early stage products so I think it is quite difficult for designers or design teams to develop a whole series because they have to think about more gimmick more more points on more more uh, good accessories for for the products okay yeah I, I see I see the peoples are leaving Anyway, uh, thanks for watching uh, Figure Talk episode 38. This time is Damn Toys uh, Hard 2 Benson and with his own accessories, a lot of accessories with a chair, with tiger skin, with very characteristic uh, costume, lots of accessory, lots of, you know, chain, I'm a tattoo, and very muscular one. Yeah, okay. Oh, and you can see that this looks like a bow gao but actually it's not i think it's, it's like a pvc not a rubber not rubber style figures but a pvc but a very soft pvc so it could have some sense of you know soft like soft like a skin or real muscles whoa so it's very funny cool it's very cool so i think this is another point okay luckily i found it at the end of this video anyway hi lekor Okay, uh, waiting the make Warcraft figure. Yeah, but the Warcraft figure is really huge. It is not figure, it is a statue. Uh, it costs close to 10,000 Hong Kong dollars, and but very big. But I think it's like this big. Like this height with this backdrop, almost 30 inches. No, no, not 24 inches high. It's very, very big one. So yeah, but uh, it's it's very good made one. As I as we can see, the sample and prototype is really really good. Uh, I hope the production is also well as well. Okay. Anyway, thanks for watching Figure Talk episode forty eight. See you next time. Bye bye.